do a bit of a video. We're upgrading our Disco 4 2010 to a 2014 look. So basically we're going to change the grill. Um, so this top one is the 2010 style grill. Um, notice there's no sort of trim along the bottom. And here at the bottom you can see the 2014 style grill. So you've got this sort of different curve. And you'll notice that the sort of bite out the side of here on the early one is quite a big bite. And this one here is sort of lower down and a little bit smaller. Okay, so the grill's one part of the change. Another part of the change is the headlight. So this is the early type headlight and this is the later type headlight and you'll notice that the, the sort of here again on the early one you've got a bigger bite out here into the grill and this one is lower down you've got the straight bit at the top okay so we're gonna have a look at that and then the next part will be the bumper but that'll be in another video how to change your bumper but it's quite interesting to have a look at what you can do without changing the bumper so because it's nice and easy to get the grill it's headlights off, isn't it? Grill and no, no paint, and the paint's expensive. It's a simple job to get it. Yeah, so we are going to upgrade. Now, the headlights just plug and play. Now, there's a few cautionary tales. So these are the new headlights. So obviously you've got left and right-hand drive models. You've also got AFS, non-AFS, um, and Xenon and non-Xenon. So, right, so just to show you, the, the non-Xenon type, I've got nothing under here. There's a big hole where that should be and the xenon type when you look underneath have got that now there's actually another telltale in fact let me just move that one can you move that one out of the way let's slide them here there we go right here we go so let me get this right so this is xenon now the xenon type you'll notice this has got an orange indicator you see the orange color in there then the halogen type has got the indicator around the corner there so they started to move things around, but that's got to be the big telltale, and if you're looking for yeah. a set on eBay, if they've got the indicator on the side, they're halogen. If they've got the indicator in the middle here, the orangey bit, they're xenon. Okay, there's a few other little, you see it's got some little rings around the, the sort of lens there on the xenon, and on the halogen it's just chrome. So there's a few little geeky telltale tale signs. Right. Do you want to grab one of the halogen headlights? So this car was halogen. We're going to grab a halogen headlight. Connector's the same. The pinout's the same. We've tested it all, and it all it literally does plug and play. So if you want to fit that in, now Ian thinks. Now notice we're leaving the Disco 4 front bumper on for now, and and we want to show you what prop. Um, because this is, we'll show you what what does fit and what doesn't fit, right? So do you want to whack the other one in as well, Ian? Put the other halogen on. So there's a super quick upgrade here where you could literally swap that over. You'll notice that all the lines with the wing are fine. The line along the bottom of this bumper's fine. Ian reckons it's a bit tighter, but just nothing. It's just that bottom edge is just a little bit. And you can see how high that that pin oh, that sit. pin yeah. is. You need to just give him a little bit of a... He's quite tight. There you go. It's got like a lift on the bottom of it. Once you get that over... So it fits right. It's literally just the sliding just it in. Wiggle it, wiggle it in. Wiggle it in. Yeah. So that's yeah, all in. It's, in. it's in. It's in. Right, grab the grill. So... Right, that's the later grill. Yeah, that looks like it's not quite stopped. Right. It looks, it looks well high here. It looks like you've got to push that, why isn't that pushing down? It's, ah, look, that pin, we've got to cut that pin off, look. Okay, so there's a mod, right? Mod, oh, mod, right mod, mod. Does it need cutting off? Or yeah, it defo needs, oh, is it you being not? Yeah. Yeah, okay, you not pushing it in, okay. And then it's... All right, hold on, let me get back. Yeah, uh, go on, let's show them that, actually. Let's just show them that. Right, we just had a little problem there when you're inserting it. When you put the grill on this later one, there's a little, oh gosh, sorry, there's this little peg that sits out there. You can see that peg? Make sure you get the peg, 
The pig? The peg. Get the peg in first. Not the pig in first. Alright, and then. Right, so you could, yeah, lower the bonnet, watch the power charger, but it's. You could actually do a conversion like that, okay? And it, and it looks, and that's plug and play, no paint work, and that actually doesn't look too bad. But what you'll notice, and the reason you've got to change the bumper, is this gap here. So there's a gap that starts from there and goes along the bottom there. But it, it's just noticeable there. Um, that's the gap. Um, but you could do that. Um, the only other difference is the fog lights are quite... Have you got any of those disco, those later? You'll notice that the fog lights on the Disco 4 are round, whereas on the Disco 4 facelift, they're sort of square there and recessed in. Um, but if you're happy with that, that's a cheap halfway upgrade until we do the bumper. Now, we will do the bumper change, how to remove the bumper, and show you how to do that. But that's the sort of top half upgrade done anyway. Okay, good luck with that. One thing we've just added at the end of the video here is the headlight functionality. So we haven't changed anything here. We've put hal taken halogen headlights out, put halogen later types in. Right, side lights. There you go. That's the side light on the halogen. Um, indicator. That's the indicator. Dip beam. That's the dip beam. Main beam. Dip beam. Yeah, so everything works there. Um, straight, no wiring changes, but if you were to put the Zen on in, I could prove it. What will happen is that, oh God, we'll do it, we'll put the Zen on in. We'll just take the grill out and we'll come back and we'll put the Zen on in and show you what does and doesn't work. Okay, so we've now put the Zen on in, the, oh gosh, where am I? The Zen on in this side, the halogen in this side. So uh, put your hazards on first, Ian. So first of all, you'll note that the halogen has the the indicator right in that bottom corner. The Xenon has it here. Right, knock those off. Uh, put the side lights on. You'll notice that the the Xenon has the, the nice signature light. There you go, here. But the halogen has the little side light in the middle there. That could be upgraded to LED. It'd look a lot better. Um, so that's the other big drawback if you go for the halogen lights you don't get the signature lights which are quite nice uh low beam in so gonna be quick yeah right so when you put the low beam on this one oh gosh this one goes on but then you, it went out again because basically it's sensing it's drawing too much current if you change the ccf files in the car that should work this one the halogen one however is perfectly fine right and then main beam and again, we've got nothing here, but the main beam over there is fine. So this is why, unless this is why, unless you go and change your CCF files, that we can't use the Xenon ones. If you've got a Xenon um, configured Discovery 4 and you upgrade it, I think you'll be fine. But ours was originally a halogen spec car.